Hi guys I am Adi Sham. Today we are going to learn about desertification. We are going to look at the region Sahel between Sahara Desert and humid savannas. It is the world's poorest region characterized by low precipitation of over 100 to 300 millimeters. These areas have been plagued by droughts and food insecurity for centuries. In dry season insufficient rainfall results in water scarcity low crop production and the severe reduction in tree coverage. This in turn causes loss of plants and animals. Low biodiversity means crops are more susceptible to pest attacks. In rainy season intense burst of precipitation can destroy and wash away the soil, newly planted seeds and crops. This is called desertification. The land is degraded to an unusable state and people are forced to migrate to more prosperous areas. Furthermore Sahel has the one of the highest rates of birth in the world. The rapid growth puts more strain on food production and leads to increasingly aggressive means of harvesting, contributing to loss of soil fertility. Around 80% of farmlands suffer from degradation. Local farmers in cooperation with NGOs have come up with three solutions. To restore degraded soils farmers grow pits called zai, piling the removed soil around the edges and filling it with organic matter. The edges divert water and windblown nutrients into the hole, while the organic matter attracts termites, they dig deep channels that loosen the soil to better absorb nutrition and water. In early July the seeds are planted, resulting in better crop yield and tree cover. To harvest rainwater and reduce soil erosion, farmers use stones to form contour bands. These rows of stones are precisely placed at the same elevation and act as a sift, slowing down the flow of water. and preventing minerals from being washed off the fields. Thirdly farmers select trees especially to them for food production, wood, soil fertilization or fuel. The taller and straighter stems are selected and protected, while unwanted stems and side branches are removed. This is done regularly to avoid new sprouts competing for resources for selected stems. These three methods have not only stopped the advancement of desertification, but they have successfully rehabilitated many thousands of hectares of soil and showed a 40% increase in crop production already after the first year. This helps to meet the demands of a rapid growing population. In Niger, farmers could even export the surplus. More trees means more shade higher biodiversity arise in water level and less wind erosion. As a result agriculture became a stable source of income. And people no longer needed to travel long distances for firewood and water. These hours can now be spent to engage in economic activities and family care. Due to their simplicity and low cost, these methods have spread rapidly through countries. Hello my name is Wakas Arshad and I am going to further explain the actions against the desertification. It's so dry here and the rains are less predictable than they used to be so sometimes our crop don't do well, and all of us need food, firewood and fodder for our animals. But there is not as much vegetation as there once was. Over the next decade, 
some 50 million people may be dispersed by desertification, the result of climate change and the depletion of natural resources. In 2007 African heads of state endorsed the Great Green Wall Initiative. The original idea was to plant a belt of vegetation, along the southern edge of Sahara, that idea has evolved into a mosaic of interventions designed to restore degraded land, and to improve plant diversity and land productivity in African dry land all around the Sahara, and so the new Action Against Desertification Initiative aims to strengthen the resilience of people to climate change in six African countries, as well as Haiti in the Caribbean, and Fiji in the Pacific. This initiative is empowering people through training, and better government mechanisms, promoting practices that suit the environmental conditions so that local communities can manage the land more sustainably to meet their needs. For example in the Sahel farmers can meet the challenge of the infrequent rains, by planting seeds and seedlings in half-moon shaped holes that help to retain water. In Haiti and Fiji farmers face different challenges. To feed Haiti's growing population, farmers have cut down trees to produce charcoal used for cooking, and to clear land for crops leading to severe soil erosion, when the tropical rains fall. In Africa the Pacific and the Caribbean action against desertification is supporting local people to stop land degradation, and sustainably manage the land with the use of approaches, such as agroforestry, where trees are introduced on farms reducing soil erosion and increasing fertility for crop and fodder production. The trees plants and crops used in agroforestry systems bring environmental benefits, as well as providing food and income generating opportunities for local people. Tackling one of the greatest challenges of our time, Action Against Desertification is kickstarting a positive cycle that will ensure, the land is able to provide for this and future generations. Thank you so much for hearing us.